Betty, can you masturbate too much? I love that we're getting more questions from men. I know. This, Thank you. Yeah, this young man wrote in. Uh, he's 16, a teener, a, you know, a teenager. And, uh, yeah, you can masturbate too much. Absolutely. He's doing, what, three, four times a day? Uh, I don't know. It's too many. And he's not satisfied. I think that's well, the key that's thing. Well, that's the whole point. Is that he's writing in because he can't... If you're masturbating eight, anywhere from five to eight, any more than three to... In, any more than one time a day, what you're mm -hmm. doing is doing the little quickies. <laughs> Tension <laughs> orgasms. But not even that good. And, and they're watching porn. I'll lay you odds. Well, I think that's it. It's such an overwhelming... Uh, visual. Then it's the more guy, and more yeah. extreme and it goes right to the extreme sex act and then it's a lot of friction on your penis. And it's all geared towards male fantasy. Nothing that a woman wants at all. Nothing that a woman so wants. So you're just popping off and what's the danger in that though? Why is that He's bad? training himself to be a fast ejaculator. Would you say a premature ejaculator? Well, right on the <laughs> edge. <laughs> and here's the whole point. You want to learn to masturbate, slow it down, and build up gradually. I say the same thing to women. They get a vibrator, and they push oh. it down, and they, yes, pop right off. No, no, no. And they write in because they're not satisfied. You have to build up sexual energy. It's like how they tell you if you're if you're going if you're going to run, you, you yes. start off walking a block, then you walk five blocks, and then you ten, and then you start jogging. It's a, it's a gradual build up. You can't go from ground zero to Climax, because all it's going to be is a quickie, which is like a hiccup. And in a way, sometimes a quickie is more of a tease to me than even not masturbating. It's worse. It's worse because you just you have this thing that was like it was intense and it was really good, but it was really good for like twenty seconds, and you want it longer. So you do it again. Yes, but it, then it, but then it becomes like you're chasing the orgasm, and then it, you get once I was doing that with a pocket rocket, I got like carpal tunnel, and and I chafed my clit. And I'm like that. That's when I realized what I was doing. You, you, it wasn't helpful. Your your clit got sore. Yeah. Well, if you're masturbating ten times a day, well, I'll be. I hope he's using some kind of massage. Lubricant. Just don't do it that often. Do it less and do it do it with more, with more thought, more class. You know. Maybe. So how would you say? So if you need to watch some sexual imagery to get it turned on, do you watch it for a few minutes and then shut it off? Don't even go there. He's 16. Fantasize, fantasize. Come on. What were you? Remember when you were a teenager? Your hormones oh, are. Yeah. Rah, rah, rah. I don't want him to think of it as a serious problem, no. but it is a problem. It is a problem. It will become a problem if you keep on doing it. Well, it this already too. is. Yeah. I'm sure his girlfriend isn't having that much fun with him. And that's why I love the fleshlights because they simulate a vagina. And so if you're doing a lot of masturbation, you know, you always say your masturbation practice gets you ready for partner sex. So if well, you're yeah. having the pop off. And you've got a hard grip. A vagina's not going to feel like that, and then you're not going to be able to achieve an ejaculation. Remember this young man, his pattern was to get down on this shag rug and, and, and really fuck the rug, and he had to do it hard. And no woman could handle him. Because he trained himself. He was rough. So, back to basics. Get the hand, get the massage oil, take your time, and he's fine now. It, it took a while. So this is the other thing. To change a masturbation pattern, and it's the same for women. It takes a while. It wild. takes a little time. <laughs> yeah, you have to have a little patience. So what do you think? I would say like three to six months for me. That's how long it took because I've just incorporated more vaginal penetration with a different type of toy. It took me a while to get used to it and a while to change the stimulation. Well, everyone's different, mm -hmm. so I don't want to put a time slot on it. But it's not going to be like one or two times. No. It's it's any it's breaking any habit. It's <laughs> any habit to change any pattern. It's going to take a little while. It could take a week. It could take six months. Just just stop with the quickies. It's not good for you. It's not good for your ultimately for your sex life. Go on to the website and and search out cum control. I'm sure we have. It's under the topics ED and lasting longer. You can see that. There you go. And you wrote that great piece, Learn Ejaculatory Control. Yes, yes. So it's all on the website, and you can go search it out and start to practice. And I love that these guys are writing in. Yeah, please keep writing Bless in. you for seeking solid information. Your girlfriend will love you for it.